Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the benefits of practicing jazz and classical music on the trombone. When learning to play the trombone, there's two styles of music that are at the foundation of most of our playing. That's classical and jazz. Both of these styles of music offer unique characteristics that can help our development as trombonists. I wanna explore a few of those key points, but before I do that, if you haven't done so, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. Even though I primarily play jazz music, I still practice classical exercises daily. Those exercises are at the foundation of my playing. Now I'm gonna share five conceptual ideas with you that I think will be helpful no matter what genre of music you play. The first thing I wanna talk about is sound. No matter what genre of music you're playing, the quality of your sound is probably the most important aspect of your playing. In classical music, there's a great deal of emphasis placed on your sound, and rightfully so. Nine times out of 10, you'll be playing in an all acoustic setting. So it's important for you to have a nice, full, rich, resonant sound so that you can be heard in the back of the concert hall. Now there is a lot of emphasis put on sound when it comes to playing jazz, but that focus is a little bit different. See, it's important to develop your own unique sound as a jazz player. So as far as technique goes, you might lean in a more unorthodox direction when you're going about developing your own sound. No matter which genre you play, having a concept of what you wanna sound like in your head first is just as important as what you do physically to get that sound out. So when it comes to sound, I say it's very important for you to develop your own sound in your head and let your body manifest what that sound is that you're hearing. So let's talk about our rhythmic feel a little bit. Oftentimes as jazz musicians, we'll play a piece of music that has multiple rhythmic feels throughout the song. Now, how we go about interpreting those different feels and how those rhythms are written can make all the difference to how the composer wants the piece of music to sound. For example, if I'm playing a big band chart and I see two eighth notes written and there's no articulation dictated, that can mean a lot of different things. Sometimes things are loosely notated on purpose because the composer wants to leave some space for the player to be able to interpret the line as they see fit. Now in classical music, things are usually specifically notated. Now a composer doesn't want you taking those individual freedoms, so they'll mark exactly what it is that they want to hear. Now it's important to note that no matter what style of music you play, it's important to have the discipline to be able to play the proper articulation and rhythmic feel for that piece of music. Now, another concept we wanna be aware of without overthinking it is the theoretical aspect of playing jazz or classical music. Having a strong understanding of music theory is gonna help you no matter what genre of music you play. The key is how you go about applying that knowledge. So let's take reading a piece of music as an example. If we're reading along in a song and we come across something that is an F minor arpeggio, if we can identify that from our theory knowledge that that is an F minor arpeggio, we don't have to think about those three separate notes individually we can put those notes together and understand how they work within the context of the piece. By just having that little piece of the puzzle, it can go a long way into us understanding what our role is in that piece of music.
Jazz and classical music both have a unique way of developing your ear. There can be a different emphasis put on what you listen for depending on the style of music that you're playing. A few things that stick out to me as far as how your ears get trained when you play classical music is you become very in tune with dynamics. A lot of classical players play with great dynamics, and I think a lot of that has to do with playing in mostly acoustic settings. When you're playing with no amplification or anything like that, you have to be very in tune with how your sound fits in with everything else that's going on in your environment. There's a lot of parallels as far as what we listen for as jazz and classical musicians. But one of the things I think is unique to jazz players is our sense of improvisation. We could be playing a particular song and start to think about how we would improvise and change these different melodies based off of how we hear it. Our ears can lead us into all different kinds of places, but one thing that's a unique experience for me is hearing a rhythm or a melody and trying to figure out how I can use that in my improvisation or even thinking about how I could use it within a composition. The last concept I wanna look at is how jazz and classical music leave you the freedom to explore the instrument. Now, without going too far on our journey during a performance, I think working out some of these concepts in the practice room is a great place to start. Now, if you're a classical player, I would say it's not going to hurt you if you learn a few of your favorite jazz melodies. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a little bit of freedom in your phrasing so that you can try different things and things don't have to be as strict as what's written on the page. It may lead you to having a different approach to when you go back to a written piece of music you're working on. Now on the flip side, as jazz players, it's not gonna hurt us to play a couple of classical etudes. What that will do is it will help us with our overall mastery of the instrument. It can lead to big benefits, especially when we go to improvise a solo. I think one of the biggest things that you can take away from this video is that whether you play classical or jazz, you're still just playing music. There's characteristics in both styles of music that can help elevate your overall musicianship. Now let me know in the comments below, if you play classical, do you ever practice any jazz stuff? And vice versa, if you're a jazz musician, do you practice any classical exercises? If so, what are they and how do they help you out in your development? As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. And I'll see you next time at The Chop Shop.